See, I think that people, uh, they still love Britney Spears, but they just love her from a different place. I feel bad, you know, because everyone just kind of judges her and splatters her business everywhere. And, you know, no one really goes, why is this happening? They just judge and judge and judge. We all have our own journey. You always feel sorry for them, and you always hate it when they have to be so thrown out there and so exposed. But uh, I would imagine that life is very, very hard. She has been on top of the world and on top of the charts, and she has publicly fallen apart at the seams. Britney Spears was once at the height of Gen Y teen pop cool, but today she is as well known for shaving her head, having a joke wedding in Las Vegas, and for that performance at the VMAs, as she is for her hit songs and albums such as Oops, I Did It Again and Baby One More Time. From the age of 12, Britney Spears lived her life in the spotlight. As she grew up and her public image began to unravel, there were many media commentators, mental health experts, and fans sympathizing and trying to dissect the reason for her collapse. Together, they all wanted to work out what was going wrong in her world. Although Britney Jean Spears was marketed as the sweet as apple pie American girl next door, her childhood wasn't as wholesome as is sometimes made out. Her father James, who now famously controls her assets, once struggled to take control of his own life when he battled an alcohol addiction. Spears' mother, Lynn, the daughter of a Baptist preacher, focused on her talented daughter and was determined for her to succeed. By the age of three, Britney was enrolled in choir, dance, and gymnastics lessons, and by six, she'd won Miss Talent Central States. At eight years old, she entered New York's Professional Performing Arts Academy, and at 11, she received a place on Disney's The All-New Mickey Mouse Club. The children's variety show was well known for making stars, and fellow Mouseketeers included the now famous Christina Aguilera and Justin Timberlake. She basically started out very young in a very competitive business. Um, as a child in the Mickey Mouse Club, through pop stardom, and it's just been a lot of pressure for her. And she's basically been a young child still in an adult's body. Growing up with such adoration at such a young age has been cited for Britney's difficulties in later life. There's actually a theory that when a lot of young stars uh, start out and really hit it big, that they kind of get frozen in the age that they're at when they first hit it big, and that that's what happens. They suddenly run out of control. For Britney Spears, that age would have been her late teens, when her single, Baby One More Time, reached number one on the Billboard charts and sold over 1.45 million records. Her album of the same name also hit number one and sold like hotcakes. When she followed it up in 2000 with the album, Oops, I Did It Again, record producers were thankfully saying the same thing when she again debuted at number one and sold over 10 million records. During this time, Spears was also dating fellow teen star Justin Timberlake. Their four-year relationship seemed to be made in celebrity heaven, and both claimed that they refused to have sex before marriage cementing each other's pure image. In 2004, the pair ended their relationship. After her split from Justin Timberlake, Britney married childhood friend Jason Alexander. After what has been called a drug-fueled bender in Las Vegas, the pair had a $40 wedding at the Little Chapel of Love. The marriage lasted 55 hours before being annulled. But it wasn't long before Spears found love again with backup dancer Kevin Federline. Even though Kevin's girlfriend at the time, Shar Jackson, was pregnant with his child, that didn't stop the star-crossed lovers from getting together. 
Sources paint a picture of two childlike lovers who filmed each other incessantly backstage, forming the basis of their reality TV show, Chaotic. They announced their engagement in July 2004 and were married in September. The bridesmaids wore pink Juicy Couture tracksuits with the words maids emblazoned on them, and the grooms wore white tracksuits saying pimps. Kevin has since credited Britney with inspiring him and being such a strong influence in his life. You know, the more I think about it, and it, it really, it, it's, it's bigger than what I thought. You know, her influence on me has been really big for the fact that I see all the criticism that she's taken for a lot longer than I have, and, and you know, she's been through the business at such a young age, and to be able to still be where she's at and, and have a, a good head on her shoulders and really, like, you know, and watching the mother that she's growing into and all these things, like, all those things influence me. I mean, she's... She's strong, you know, she's a strong woman and, and she knows what she wants out of life and, and I mean, that helps build a strong man, you know, it's, it's, it, that's, that's basically what it is. So, I look up to you, baby, and I love you. The public was fascinated by their relationship. When Brittany became pregnant with her son, Sean Preston, and decided to take some time out from her career to raise a family, artist Daniel Edwards was compelled to depict the birth. Well, I guess I'm just really responding to the public's general interest in her pregnancy uh, and, and trying to capture the ultimate moment of that pregnancy, more or less, uh, you know, pay tribute to it, and the ultimate moment being the birth. So I really, I'm just really kind of, uh, in, in some way, in my way, kind of documenting the importance of that moment to uh, our, cult our culture. My feeling about it was that for her to give up her career, to sacrifice that essentially, to have a child, that just seemed like a real dedication to birth. However, their passion didn't last, and it wasn't long before the spears Federline marriage was on the rocks. It seemed that neither of them had settled down after having children, and the relationship was strained. Pretty much since Brittany and Kate had got married two years ago, everybody was pretty much counting the minutes until this was over. I think now is the time, because Brittany has had her second baby, she realizes it's time to make a comeback, and she and Kevin have been arguing more than ever lately, and I think she just got literally fed up. Rumors about the relationship being on the rocks abounded, and commentators pointed to Kevin's party boy ways. On Halloween night, Kevin was having a big launch party for his album in Los Angeles. Brittany didn't make an appearance the whole night. She was at the club, but she was in a dressing room upstairs the whole night. People saw them having a screaming, knockdown, drag out fight. And then Brittany eventually ran crying from the building, wearing a sexy black dress and no shoes. And she just looked incredibly upset. And then a few days later, they were in New York promoting his album. They flew out separately. They stayed at separate hotels. They didn't spend any time together. And she was even spotted having dinner with friends, pretty much crying throughout the whole meal. So it was obvious that they really were not even on speaking terms anymore. It was really just a matter of time. And the time came soon enough. In November 2006, after giving birth to two sons, Britney Spears sent Kay Fed a text message telling him she wanted a divorce. According to his lawyers, Federline was genuinely shocked by the announcement. He claimed that he loved his wife, that she inspired him, and he could not understand why she did not want to be with him anymore. Entertainment reporters had their own theories. You know, when you add it all up, this was inevitable in some ways. I mean, for her sake, it had to happen. Um, what I'm hearing is that they had two very different marriages. From his point of view, this was a great marriage. I mean, he was Mr. Spears, he's living in Malibu, he's partying, he's having a great time. He was happy in this marriage. She wasn't happy in this marriage. So she was viewing it very differently from him, and she was really unhappy, and things were mounting and mounting and mounting, and she couldn't get him to become responsible, and she was fed up, and she wasn't happy, and he was blindsided. Luckily for Spears, she had been convinced by her mother, Lynn, to sign a tight prenuptial agreement before getting married. Kevin would get $300,000 per year 
equal to a time for half the total time they were married, which is complicated, which means if they were together for two years, then he would get $300,000. And they were married for 300 years. So if that prenup is uh, valid, then he would walk away with really about $300,000, which isn't much. He has no access to her companies, to any of her additional assets. She has no obligation to care for his children with Char Jackson. So the prenup that she really didn't want to sign, that her mother urged her to sign, really is going to be her, her saving point in all of this. The Spears Betterline divorce was enormous entertainment news. A quiet day at the courthouse involved six television trucks, two dozen media, and helicopters in the sky hoping to catch a glimpse of the famous or infamous plaintiff. No doubt the constant attention, feeling hounded by the paparazzi, and still having to deal with a broken heart and two young sons contributed to Britney spiraling out of control. Okay, well, for the first time in three months, Britney Spears came to the downtown L.A. courthouse, and it's very strange. There was very little fanfare. In, in uh, previous visits here, it's been accompanied by just media craziness. Today, everyone's quite subdued. She rolled in in the passenger seat of a white Land Rover um, with little fanfare. She's uh, presumably entering the courthouse right now. And that's different from past times, because in the past, it's really been a zoo out here. It's still a zoo. We still have more than two dozen media. We have helicopters overhead. There's six television trucks. There's deputies milling around, but Britney Spears is in, and it's pretty quiet. As part of the divorce, Spears sought custody of their two children with visitation rights for Federline. However, Federline responded, also seeking physical and legal custody. Rumors abounded that Kevin's custody battle had more to do with money than with any parental inclination. Kevin is not seeking any change in any monetary uh, award that he has at the present time. All of these frenzied reports about how he's seeking custody linked to money are unfounded. During 2007, Britney's behavior began to deteriorate. Trouble escalated when reports emerged of Britney's bodyguard, Julio Camara, known as JC, bashing photographer Andrew Dietz in Las Vegas. It seemed that wherever Britney went, trouble followed her. JC came out of nowhere and uh, pummeled me to the ground, punched, kicked me maybe 20, 30 times. Um, got up after that, uh, went by the hotel elevator, uh, by the, the spa elevators uh, to get back to the main floor. And um, Brittany, uh, we had a wall of security in between us. Brittany had came up after that and uh, restrained by security through a baby bottle trying to hit both of us. Um, and then turned around and, and threatened me personally, saying she was going to kill me. Uh, that if that I should get a restraining order on her because if sh if she couldn't kill me she was gonna have someone kill me uh, kill me for her very threatening Brittany also took part in a photo shoot that became famous when her dog defecated on thousands of dollars worth of borrowed gowns her mood changed many many times within the three hours we were together in the story we call it erratic, it was it was a it was a, a very very odd place that we found Brittany to be in, and, and 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 as the day went on, and after she she left the set and came back to the set several times, including several bathroom breaks, we found that her mood changed. Brittany left the shoot with about twenty thousand dollars worth of clothing and items that OK had borrowed from some of the biggest designers in the world for the shoot. Um, and then in addition, there was probably about $5,000 worth of stuff that was damaged, including the dress that her dog had relieved himself of. Kevin Federline's lawyers were happy to point to Brittany's bad behavior as a reason not to have custody of her children. Our client was prepared to testify on issues of nudity by Ms. Spears, drug use, and safety issues involving the children post rehab. In March 2007, the couple reached a global settlement, but the bitter custody battle continued, even with a changing legal team. Renowned celebrity divorce lawyer Laura Wasser, whose clients included Angelina Jolie and Stevie Wonder, handed over to a new firm to see the process through. So are you stepping down? We were hired to do a job and we did it and 
from here on in, Marcy Levine at Freed and Goldsman will be handling the custody parts of the case. Uh, it's a custody status hearing in the ongoing custody battle between Britney Spears and her ex-husband Kevin Federline over the couple's two sons. There's two-year-old Sean Preston and one-year-old Jaden James. Today they're going to be reviewing a a custody status evaluation, which is basically a psychiatric evaluation of Britney Spears based on all her past troubles and her, her recent progress. So what could happen today is they could amend, the judge could amend the couple's visitation rights. Um, since January, Britney has had no visitation. Um, in February, Federline has allowed some limited visitation. Uh, and of course, uh, Britney is hoping for, for more time with her sons. Britney's limited visitation rights stemmed from her erratic behavior. In 2007, Britney was checked into a rehabilitation clinic in Antigua. After checking herself out, she visited a Californian hairdressing salon where she cut off her hair with clippers. Later in the year, she was admitted to a facility in Malibu in an attempt to deal with her out of control lifestyle. The girl has no peace. She is constantly in the news. She can't do anything. She can't go anywhere without people just hounding her. And this has got to take a terrible toll. It's quite possible it could be a breakdown. It's quite possible it could be drugs. There are features of both. The erratic behavior, the poor judgment, uh, the inviting attention uh, is a cry for help, it seems like. And it could be a number of things. Uh, but certainly those would be at the top of the list about what could be driving this type of behavior. However, even with all of her personal struggles, Britney's 2007 release still garnered critical acclaim. Her album, Blackout, received widespread success. The most shocking thing about Blackout is that it's great. Like, it's great all the way through. It's not like her previous albums where there's like a few big hits and those are the songs that you listen to and you kind of like skip over some of the other stuff. Like this is like from start to finish, you enjoy listening to every single track. It's a great album all the way through. It seemed as though the focus on Britney's personal life might finally be put aside in favor of thinking about her music rather than her troubles. Uh, she also uh, began working way. out a few times a week in the gym and taking dance lessons. Britney performed in a small House of Blues tour as a warm-up to what could potentially be a comeback. Uh, Britney Spears, uh, yeah, she's been here. She's back here. She's you know, been here for the past, I guess, month and a, month and a half, I guess it's been. Uh, she, yeah, after you know, going through, you know, what you know, everyone knows she's been through, she decided, you know, she's uh, relaunching her career again, and she came back, and uh, she's been, you know, popping in and out of classes just to kind of get back in the groove of things, and then. Um, you know, just the past month, she's been really hardcore going rehearsing uh, uh, to you know, kick off her uh, club tour, House of Blues tour. Even with more commercial success, Britney still could not get her personal life back on track. The beginning of 2008 was marred by her losing custody of her children, failing to take drug and alcohol tests, and being placed under involuntary psychiatric hold. As Britney struggled to get her life back on track, her father James stepped in. He was prepared to do what he hadn't been able to do when she was a child, take control of his daughter. Part of the reason that Britney has made such a transformation has to be credited to her father. Her father was at the house during our interview. He spent an enormous amount of time with his daughter. He has changed her life. He has cleared out of her life many of the negative influences, so has surrounded her with people that love about her, care about her, and first and foremost, now, the priority is Britney. In January 2008, James Spears was named Britney's co-conservator, along with attorney Andrew Wallet giving them complete financial control over the wayward pop star. Two things happened in today's hearing. One, her father was granted permanent control over her personal and financial affairs and remains her conservator. Two, James Spears, her father, was also able to successfully block a motion by Florida attorneys who are suing on behalf of Spears' former manager, trying to get her to testify during a deposition. The conservatorship has been an ongoing situation since February when James Spears stepped in and took control of his daughter's affairs after a series of high-profile incidents of erratic behavior, including a couple of hospitalizations. Since attempting to take control of her life, 
Britney embarked on a tour to promote her 2009 album, Circus. She had pushed boundaries again with the new album, which featured the controversial track name, If You Seek Amy. Fans who had stayed true to Britney through her ups and downs were excited about her comeback. I think it's great. It's great. She's going to come back. She's going to be better than she was before. She's going to be amazing. Love her. She's going to get in shape, get her life on track. She can do it. The circus tour was rocked by allegations that Spears was lip syncing the whole time and that her performance all round was unimpressive, especially considering the high ticket prices. However, some fans were still happy to see their idol. It was totally worth the way overpriced tickets and the two hours of waiting. Awesome. I thought it was fantastic. You'll never see her that close up live and personal again. We knew it was only being that the phone went in, and it was fantastic. She danced well. Her body looks great. She's back. That was a fantastic show. I love her. She was really great. She looked amazing, but it's still, she said she was going to perform four of her new songs. She only performed four of her old songs. Amidst the controversy of her comeback tour, Britney Spears fans refused to give up, and media commentators agreed that a few so-so performances wouldn't spell the end for Britney Spears. A lot of people are speculating that it could be over for her career, but the interesting thing about Britney Spears is just when they count her out, she comes back. She's a perfect example of American society bringing them down just to bring them back again. We love the up and down, the saga of being on top and then being on the very bottom and then rehabilitating yourself and getting better again. But there's no way to say, because they've said many times before, this is the last time, this is it, she's down for the count. And then it looks like she's coming back again, and then she's down again. So we'll have to see what happens. It depends on how committed she is to rehabilitating herself and starting up again with a new career and a new face and a new Britney. It is true that Britney Spears has seen all that fame has to give. Fortune, adoring fans, and popularity. But she has also seen fame's dark underbelly, stalking paparazzi, induced paranoia, and an inability to escape. Britney Spears has been through the breadth of relationship issues, falling in love, out of love, being married, divorced, and having the embarrassment of an annulled Vegas wedding. She has become a mother only to have her children taken away from her. In an act of defiance, she has shaved her head after checking out of rehab, only to be finally taken under her father's wing like the little girl she started out as. There have been ups and downs in her world, but hopefully for Britney Spears, with all she has been through and learned, the road ahead is beginning to look bright.